over all of the years and over all of the travels on behalf of you, the partners of Trinity Broadcasting Network. I have never been here before, Lori and I. We have never been to the Czech Republic. This is Prague and we have associations with lots of groups in Italy and Germany and, and different parts of, of Central Europe. But this part has changed. So much has happened to this part of the world, the, the shifting tides of sands and you know Velvet governments and, and just Amen. all sorts of things that have happened that, that has caused change and we're here with you. We welcome you right here. We have a different program for you today. It's really gonna take an exhaustive look really at what's happening with Christian television in most of right here in Central Europe. And we're gonna find out and we're gonna report that to you. So all over Central Europe, right here on this edition of Inside the Family of Networks. It's gonna be amazing new opportunities. Historic and stunningly beautiful Prague is the capital and largest city of Czech Republic. It is, in fact, the 15th largest city in the entire European Union. The city and the urban zone that surrounds it is home to more than 2 million citizens and host over 6 million tourists each year. If you've been, you understand why. The architecture and iconic buildings, rivers and historic bridges, ancient cathedrals, art and statues are some of the most beautiful in all of Europe. While Prague's turbulent history was plagued by wars due to its coveted and strategic location, one war lasting over 30 years in the early 1600s, today it is peaceful and prosperous and enjoys the lowest unemployment rate in the entire European Union. What do you think about this part of the world? Oh, well, I mean the history, I mean you can look around, you see all the beautiful statues of Christ and Mary and you know so religion has been here but now today very little um, Christians are here they don't get Christian television like we get in America we're just so spoiled with all kinds of good good Christian programming and and uh, stations around America and here they if they have their satellite dish pointed the right direction they can get pretty much all of Smile of a Child and Juice and TBN and I think 11 or 12 of the TBN networks That's are available amazing. through Hotbird to this part of the world. I mean the signal of a lot of satellites come to this central yeah. European location. So it's 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 really rich yes. with Christian content available from the sky. You can't keep yeah. these satellites out. Uh, but you know you know what I think about I think about you can't be here in this part of Central Europe without at least thinking about World War II. You can't help but think that when, when, the, when communism fell, every kind of world religion uh, started in. you know, flooding into yeah. that void. That, when that vacuum was broken, everything came. You can see how the Catholic Church has had great influence here and the Orthodox Church has had great influence here and you know not so much Protestant uh, Christianity but there are three brand new opportunities that are available we're going to unpack some of those right here for this part of Central Europe on this edition it's kind of a multinational edition of the inside the family of networks stay tuned this is going to be a really interesting and in-depth look at a brand new place for us we've never brought you here Prague in the Czech Republic. Prague has played major roles in both the Bohemian and Protestant reformations. And while the city has sadly followed suit with much of Europe, falling away from its first love, its Christian heritage runs undeniably deep, making it rife for the spiritual revival that is already beginning in post-communist Eastern Europe.
Let's be a fly on the wall and listen in for a moment to this historic European network manager meeting held in this very strategic European city. One of our largest playout facilities in the world it is represented by that square in Spain. So when, when you think of America and all of our content leading America, it comes down in Spain, and Spain is our largest uplink facility. So Spain is a huge hub. TBN UK represents access to virtually every home in the UK. TBN Europe is a separate feed that has at least the Polish and French, French and then English programming. TV in Europe airs on Hotbird, deploying language blocks of programming on TV in Europe is historically something we've done. Yes, there is something big in the air. It's called Trinity Broadcasting Network, and we are advancing on every front. Let's just say this, every Christian television signal ends up being a miracle. God has to breathe on it to make it happen. TBN's story is miraculous a zillion times. Uh, we're, we're all on the same page. So understand something, this is a massive undertaking and the thing that I have to organize is communication. That's all I do. And fortunately, that's the only thing I'm good at. Can't do math, can't do anything like that. Bob's here for all that kind of stuff. But all I do is make sure I understand your story. We thought that this would be a very strategic location for really a Central European managers meeting. So what we really found when we got here is meeting with basically three groups that we have already established relationships and then three new opportunities. Coming from Bible TV is Stephen and Beata. Bible TV, seriously, uh, we've been talking about new content, new programming. There's some amazing things that are happening in 2017 in Germany, the 500th year anniversary of the Wittenberg door. So that's one of the things we're going to be doing in 2017 in association with Bible TV. Christoph and Ilona Rampa, the brand new TBN Polska, 24-7 operating on Hotbird throughout all of Europe. Meeting again all the way from Estonia. Back with us is Valeri and Katerina Rukovichkin. You know, the Rukovichkins have been a part of TBN for about 20 years, and they are amazing people. They've been so diligent and so faithful to what God's doing in the Russian language and in the Estonian language. Three new opportunities. We met with Blagovest and Katya Belev from Bulgarian Christian Television. A brand new work. We're just getting to know what they're doing. This report that we're doing with you right now, uh, we're gonna we're gonna explore all of this together. Again, if you just tuned in, we're in Prague. We're here on the Bridge of Love, or I think that's the rough translation, right here in Prague. Uh, we're basically doing a Central European report, brand new opportunity. We're meeting with Joel Baker, missionary from Pastor Montenegro. Joel. Pastor Joel, basically he's all, you know, kind of an expert, you know, for many, many years in what was the old Yugoslavia. So three of the family of networks are here, three new opportunities. Uh, one right here in the Czech Republic with Pastor Festus Soha. He was originally from Cameroon. Now he's here in the Czech Republic, pastoring a great work right here in this part of Central Europe. Three brand new opportunities, and we're meeting with three other uh, Trinity family of networks that have flown here. We're using this as the central location, 
and it's all about Christian TV. Stay tuned. This is going to be an amazing report taking you all over Central Europe. Yep. Bible TV is TBN's programming affiliate, serving all of Germany, Austria, and Switzerland via cable systems, Astra satellite, and terrestrial broadcast. In spite of most insisting Christian television would be impossible in Germany, the channel was founded in 2002 and formed a strategic programming partnership with TBN in 2014 and is remarkably well received by German speaking people throughout Europe. Bible TV was founded from a successful German publisher and he was traveling through the world and he had no relationship to Jesus and then he, he was in a hotel and there in the hotel was a Gideon Bible and he starts to reading in the Gideon Bible and he feel in his heart, oh, that's for me, the words in the Bible, it means me. And the successful publisher said, I like to start with a Christian TV channel. And all Christians in Germany said, oh no, it's, it's not a good idea. People don't like Christian TV in Germany. And he had his vision and God put things on his heart that he founded Bible TV. And now we reach 34 million households. And now we can say there are a lot of people standing behind Bible TV. They talk about Bible TV to other people. They support Bible TV with praying. And they support Bible TV with, for example, programs. One of our biggest program partner is TBN. We are so happy about the supporting from TBN with content because we do all our best to reach people on their TVs, on their mobiles, on their devices, and we had not enough power or money for program. But content program is the most important thing, and so we see it's so fantastic how TBN support Bible TV. A lot of thanks to TBN and to the viewers from TBN that we could reach people and tell the people something about Jesus. TBN Polska began as a programming block on TBN Europe, but has grown audience share 24-7 Polish language network, preaching and teaching the gospel to all of Poland a nation of some 38 million people. Currently, only a small fraction of the Polish population are practicing Christians, so TBN Polska meets a critical need in Eastern Europe. In 2009, I was invited by people who work with TBN Pacific to Australia. We get to know each other. They said that the vision of Paul Croach was to build family of networks. Uh, and they said you would be part of family of networks if you would have TBN. So we started to think about how to pro provide uh, finances, which was, was and is a big challenge because we have only 45,000 Christians in Poland, born again Christians. And Poland is a huge nation, 38 million. So it now tells that there's a huge need of gospel and church is too small to win people one by one which is always good but we believe we need to have to be in Poland that will go to every household but uh, while we talk now people watch ugly dirty stuff and changes their thinking and destroys their lives what we want uh, people to find out that TBN has something that will grasp the at their attention in seven seconds eight seconds and they will want to come back because this will be their channel they will turn everything off and keep uh, TBN online all the time because in Poland they believe there will be TBN in Poland so I was invited by a Polish president office for a meeting where they were discussing media and education. President made this meeting just to talk about Christian values at homes and education. And they believe there should be media helping to develop 
homeschooling with Christian values. So I had a chance to share our vision and what TBN will be giving to our society, which is Christian values, Christ in the middle of that. So Poland is on good way and that's what our president recognizes. So there's lots of preparation, we want to produce lots of good stuff and when we start it must be the best channel Poland ever had. So our plan is to have 24-7 Polish channel as part of Trinity Broadcasting Network. The best thing is it was born in Jesus' heart and uh, that's why we feel, we feel there is grace. Another strategic member of the TBN family of networks, Life TV from Estonia, began broadcasting live in the Russian language, June 1995. It is the first Christian cable, satellite, and broadcast television station in the former Soviet Union. It is also available or the primary objective is to spread the word of God and Christian values across the country and to establish a separate channel in the Estonian language in addition to Russian. Life TV this year will be 21 years old. It's like a ministry that started from nothing, only from word of God. But now we have together with TBN amazing work, amazing ministry and big results. Now we wish to have Estonian language version of the channel separately from Russian version because we have the Russian and Estonian programs on the same channels. But people telling us please uh, do separate channel, Russian and Estonian. It will be easier for them. Dear friends and partners of TBN Network, I am so glad to have time to talk with you. I am from small country, Estonia, but I am Ukrainian who was born in Ukraine and I speak in, in Russia. You know, in this part of the world all was mixed, but love of God is for all nations, all, all people around the world. And from this small country, Estonia, we have vision what came 21 years ago, 1995, that touch Russian-speaking people around the world, give them through television word of God, word of faith, word of healing, word of deliverance. And our mission is touch Russian-speaking people. And I'm happy and glad about this, that I'm part of this work and partnership with TBN and TBN partners and TBN friends. For me, it's a privilege to be part and do something, do something small or big, just this is for me, it's a blessing from God. In addition to Bible TV in Germany, TBN Polska in Poland, and Russian-speaking Life TV from Estonia, TBN has identified three brand new channel opportunities for the family of networks that will help throw important and culturally relevant lifelines to Eastern Europe and beyond, first in Bulgaria, then Montenegro, and the former Yugoslavia, and Prague itself. When the wall between East and West fell down, God gave a great opportunity to my nation to hear the gospel uh, free because it was forbidden for us to share the gospel outside of the churches. And we preached the gospel in front of about three million people. We saw the citizen of Bulgaria on these meetings. And as I say, God gave me a chance to kiss my nation, to meet my nation, which uh, changed my life forever. God showed me the map of Bulgaria, showed me a vision how some fountains from everywhere began to be open and I recognized spiritually that this is a TV, TV signals. And uh, I heard the voice of the Lord very clear and He told me that if I like to touch my nation, uh, I have to do this by television. And he says, I will have in Bulgaria TV ministry and you have to, to, to create it. See, it was so strong, so powerful, that I several days I didn't eat and didn't drink and expect somebody to call me and says, Brother Blagovest, I will send you a check for $500,000 to buy a cameras and equipment and go ahead and make a TV. Nothing happened like this. <laughs> Just God put me the task in front of my eyes and I began to follow this task. 
and uh, God talked to my heart that I have to realize the vision. I have to go and fight for Christian channel before the government of Bulgaria. And that was a heavy time, but we receive a positive result. We receive a national license for, for 24 hours and seven days of the week national TV channel. So after 22 years, we, we began to see the realization of the vision he gave me. So I believe in revival, bigger revival than we saw with our eyes, through television, because God uh, talked to me about it and because I have seen a real revival and because I love my nation and I believe in God that he has his plan for these last days, these end times today. I've been a missionary in Europe 32 years in a historic post-communist revival right when communism fell. It was phenomenal. For five years we pastored in Sarajevo and 90% uh, uh, Muslim area and pioneered a church there and then the last seven years we've been in Montenegro. So for the last 13 years we've been uh, in the former Yugoslavia and, and after the war it broke up into seven countries. The Bible translations are poor in the former Yugoslavia. Uh, seven out of eight translations, for example, uh, w would um, not translate a verse properly. So I've been working a lot in, in Bible translation as well. And uh, just the, to see this full gospel, this gospel of the kingdom, uh, that really liberates people with the grace revolution, with the Hebrew roots movement as well, to, to really see that stabilize the people because they have not had good teaching uh, at, at all, especially as you go further south. In Europe, the Protestant Re Reformation came as far south as northern Serbia, and then it hit a wall of three religions, Islam, Orthodoxy, and, uh, and Catholicism. So it, it ground to a halt. Whereas we saw here in the Czech Republic, we saw a historic revival move of the Holy Spirit, which that part of the world has never seen. They've had a war every 50 years. Uh, a person's identity is linked to the religion of their father, and uh, you dare not uh, change that religion because your family line has shed blood in, in keeping that. It's part of their ethnic identity. So we really have a heart to see uh, Christian television uh, reach that, that people group. And the goal is to bring this full gospel, the, the power of the Holy Spirit to former Yugoslavia that has not experienced that, that power and that presence of God. I'm the pastor of Oasis Church in Prague, uh, here in Czech Republic, and also we have um, churches around the country. In 1985, September 7th, 9 o'clock in the night, in the city of Port Harcourt in Nigeria, I had a divine visitation. Jesus Christ actually walked into my room, and his glory came into my room, and I fell flat on the ground. And he said to me, repent from your sins, from this day you are a child of God. And then years later, the Lord appeared to me again and told me that I'm supposed to be a missionary in Czechoslovakia. So that's how I come to know about Czechoslovakia. I didn't even know where it was in the map. As you can know, Czech Republic, if you check on the statistics, is the most unbelieving nation on earth. So that's why I said, if this is the most unbelieving nation on earth, I mean, this is the right place for TBN to be. People wouldn't like to go to church or like to hear about God or gospel, but they can sit in their home and hear something. They feel more secure and safe to sit alone in their mobile phone or whatever, or TV, and hear something about God. You, even if you pay them to go to a meeting, church meeting, they may never go. But they can relax, almost like make sure nobody's watching them, and then they can watch something. This is why we need television ministry right here and now. The most unbelieving, and they can hardly go to any Christian programs, but they can sit in their home and watch and experience the same power that is, we experience in our churches every Sunday. 
Christ is not just somebody in history. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And he, what he did in the times past, he's doing today. He changes life, he gives hope, he saves, he cleanses, he heals, he helps. When they, I believe with all my heart, if I can be able to get this message to Czech Republic, it will break down the stronghold of unbelief. And he's done already that for 22 years. Amazing things. People ask me, how can you convince the Czech that there is God? I say, not me, but by the power of God, they are touched with the gospel. Founded during Romanesque times and flourishing during the Gothic, Renaissance, and Baroque eras, Prague began as the capital of the Holy Roman Empire nearly a millennia ago. Its fortunes have waxed and waned during its 1100-year existence, but after World War I, it became a capital of the then Czechoslovakia and now Czech Republic, a home today to over 10 million people. We just happen to be stopped here in one of the most beautiful cities uh, around. Yeah. It's unbelievable here. You know, the Czech Republic isn't a whole lot bigger than South Carolina. It's got 10,700,000 people. This is brand new territory. And um, when we got off the plane, I told all the guys, I said, I just feel like conquering the land. <laughs> <laughs> and what I see by that is a big cross that looks like a television antenna and just staking it in the ground saying the land is the Lord's right here in the Czech Republic. Christian television. They've only gotten it right off of Hot satellites. Bird satellite, yeah. And satellites. so anybody who has a little dish yep. Hot can bird. just point it to Hotbird and pick up what can they pick up here? TBN all UK? of the TBN, all of the TBN networks Smiling virtually uh, here depending on what dish they have. And so we're here exploring it. Yeah. This is Prague in the Czech Republic. Never been here before, our first time here. And I do this often, I call my friend Arthur Blessed, yes. who's been everywhere. He said, make sure you walk across the beautiful bridge right here in uh, the center of town. We are in Prague. We had never been here. Trinity family of networks that have flown here. We're using this as the central location. So here we've we brought are. you all along too. <laughs> So just imagine, your TBN family of networks in Eastern Europe alone has already established German-speaking, Polish-speaking, and Russian and Estonian-speaking television networks. Now God can use TBN and our faithful partners to throw out culturally relevant lifelines for three brand new opportunities to get the gospel of Jesus Christ to Bulgaria, the former Yugoslavia, and Prague Czech Republic. Partners and friends, please pick up the phone right now and pledge your most generous gift as an investment in eternity for Eastern Europe. Revival is coming to this part of the world. Won't you help make history as we turn Eastern Europe back to the God of our fathers? Operators are standing by. Tell them you want to support TBN's Eastern European networks. Thank you for your support and may God bless you for your faithful giving and obedience.